Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at Winsound.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate the wobble bass effect using the ES2 synthesizer in Logic Studio. And remember to follow Winsound on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with the latest releases from Winsound Studios. To find the ES2, simply go to your I.O. settings and scroll down to the ES2 right there. Select that. That's what we're going to be working with. Now, first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have your filter on. Now, I'm just going to play you a quick second of what I'm starting with, with my MIDI sound. Alright, so you have the filter on, and now you want to work with the oscillators for a moment. The first oscillator, which is this knob right here, we're going to turn that way down to about negative 24 semitones, about, about there. Let's bring that to that. Alright. Now you want to have that be a sine wave. I'm going to keep that as a sine wave. And now for the uh, for the second oscillator, we're going to have that about normal, about average. So I'm going to bring that to zero. Right there. And now we want to be working with the LFO over here. I'm going to select the LFL, LFO2. And now with just those few little selections that I've made, this is the sound that I have. As you can tell, my bass is now way more wobbly than before. It took almost no time. And now you can have fun messing around with the whole ES2 synthesizer plugin. Have a lot of fun with it and really bang out and getting that really great sound that you really want. But that that is the wobbly bass. You can always get in touch with Chris at Winksound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos, including these titles featuring Logic, now available on demand at Winksound.com.